Oh, hello everybody. I'm doing a video today. I just wanted to talk about a dream that I had last night, which is probably really dumb, but... Why not share it with the world? The internet world? My friends? My family? Yeah, so I woke up this morning and I was like, what the hell? I had a dream that Drake was my boyfriend. We were like at this little religious shop, shopping for religious like stuff. I don't know, it was really weird. And like we were sitting next to each other and then like I just remember I was like, hey, like. I mean, I don't really remember what I said. All I know is that like I did kiss him on the cheek. And he was like really cute in the dream. And then like I jumped that my mom was like super against our relationship and she was like, no, like I'm not gonna let you go out with a Drake. Like I'm not gonna let you be Drake's girlfriend. I was like, mama, really? Really have a lot of money. And then my granny was like, nope, nope. You ain't gonna go out with Drake. I already said, you ain't going out with Drake. And I was like, I'm gonna go out with Drake. So like the whole dream was basically like me fighting for me and Drake's relationship. It sounds really dumb now that I talk about it out loud, but. And I'm holding a pocket stick in my hand right now. Halloween edition. What else did I want to talk about? Oh yeah, do you guys ever feel like really annoyed whenever somebody is like, somebody feels entitled to tell you how to live your life? Because yesterday I went through something like that. Um, I went to this little store I'm not gonna say where because I don't want nobody to get jumped. Not that anybody would get jumped in the first place. Why would anyone get jumped? I went to a little store or whatever and I was picking out some natural ingredients and the man working there was like, yeah, you know, go ahead, just like pick out whatever. Like he was showing me around, showing me the different things. The different things. Girl. And then like I paid or whatever and he was like, yeah. He's like, is this the first time like you use these ingredients? And I was like, no, I've never used this remedy. I'm actually on medication right now for my problem. That's why I came here to get these natural ingredients. And he was like, oh, okay, like, oh, I understand. He was like, well. He's like, yeah, always be natural. Like, always stay natural. Like, I'm not telling you to stop your medication. I'm just telling you to stay natural. Oh, you know, and I'm like, okay, sir. Thank you. And he's like, yeah, you know, like, just stop like, eating processed foods and drinking soda. What does that mean? Does that mean I'm fat? Shit. I don't know, does that mean I'm fat? Are you trying to tell me I'm fat or something? Like, just say it, just like you're fat or something. Ho. But I don't think I was trying to say that. Or maybe he was, I don't know. And he was like, yeah. And I was like, okay, getting ready to leave, you know, getting, getting just ready to go home. Like, I'm not trying to spend my whole day up in there. And he's like, oh, wait, wait, like, I have this video for you. Come watch this video. I'm like, what video? He's like, it's a video, like, about how soda's bad for you. And I was like, okay. Let's watch this man's video, you know, I ain't gonna be mean. So I was like, okay, I guess, let me watch the video, you know? Well, I didn't say it like that, bro. Like, yeah, okay, let me watch the video, sir. He proceeds to take out his phone and show me the video. And it was just like a two minute video about why soda is bad for you. And I was like, mm-hmm, like just watching the video, like, okay. Okay, like, okay. And I was like, thank you for sharing that video with me, sir. Like getting ready to walk out again. And he's like, no, wait, wait. I was like, oh, okay. So I like came back again. Then he talked like he started talking about how like education affects you and how like your income and your religion and all this like stuff that I don't need to fucking hear because I'm not here for like a life coaching event or anything like that. Like I'm here to get my stuff and leave. But obviously he was like super into life coaching or something. He was like, yeah, like it's a triangle. If you're an engineer, like. He's like, if you're an engineer, like, you make more money, and if you're a doctor, you make even more money. My son's a doctor, and, you know, people who are religious, they're way better people than people that are not religious. And, you know, like, anybody who goes to a temple, they're way better people. Also, the people that run every morning, you know, you're gonna be a better person if you run every morning. And I'm just standing there like, I don't know why I do this, but anytime somebody tries to tell me something like, like how to live my life, like, I get this urge to laugh in their face. And I'm not trying to be rude, but it's just like funny to me how they're all up in your face like, mm -hmm. health, yeah, mm -hmm. like you gotta be healthy, you gotta eat natural, you know, just eat natural, be healthy. You know, the more natural you eat, the healthier you'll be, and you'll just, you'll feel great. And I'm just like, mm-hmm. And then he was just like, yeah, you know, and I was like, okay, sir. And I totally understand what he meant and what he was saying. I understand that he was just trying to be a good person. But sometimes, you know, you can't really be telling people how to live their life. I understand that he was giving me advice, but it can sometimes come off as a little bit pushy. I don't know, I just kind of felt like, like it was kind of unnecessary. But that's just me, like, how do you guys feel about that? I'm coming to like, like tell you how to live your life. 
But anyway, it was done talking. I was like, okay, thank you, sir. And I was like, have a nice day. And like, I walked out. I mean, he had some pretty good points to prove, but. How are you gonna hold me up like that, though? I'm gonna hurry. But anyway, that's today's video. Really short. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, give me a thumbs up. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.